In this video, you will learn how to generate this progress circle chart in Microsoft Excel. I have generated this chart using this set of data, which is the data about the student performance in different subjects and the marks obtained are displayed in these graphs. These graphs are very dynamic. If I change these values, these values will be automatically changed. For example, in math, I will change it to 45 instead of 55. Press enter. Now you can see here the values are changed in this graph. I will change it back to 55. I will press enter and this value will be changed. Let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data. Firstly, I will calculate the remainder. To calculate that, put equal sign. Select this cell first. In formula bar, put equal sign. 1 minus this cell and press enter. Now select it again and drag it to automatically calculate remaining values. Now click anywhere in empty cell, go to insert and in insert you will find the option of pie chart, click here and there is the option of donut chart, select this one to generate a blank graph. Now go to this format option and from here select 3 by 3. Now right click and select data, click on add and write one 20 time here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Click on OK. And again on OK. Now select this legend and press Backscape to remove this one. Similarly select chart title and press Backscape to remove this one. Now click on it. Right click and go to format data series. In format data series, I will place it here. You will find the option of donut whole size, select 65. And in donut explosion, select 3%. Go to fill and line option. And from here, you can select the any color, I will select blue. And next, go to this effect option. Go to shadow option. And in preset, I will select this one, which is the inside top left. Now I will close this one. Copy this. And paste it here. Again, copy and paste. Now, move it here. Click here. Right click. Go to Forbade Data Series. Go to fill and line option and change it color to green. Similarly, select this one and go to fill and line option and change it color to red. Now right click, go to select data option. From here, you will click on add and in add option, Go to series values 
and select this marks obtained and remainder of first subject click on ok then again on ok similarly right click go to select data option click add and in series value select the values of history click on ok again on ok similarly repeat this step for this one click on ok again on ok now click here right click and go to change series chart type from here in series 2 i will select, select secondary axis option check this option and press ok similarly click here right click change series chart type and in series 2 i will select secondary axis press ok select outer side right click go to change series chart type and in series 2 i will check secondary axis secondary axis and press ok now click on it again click now you can see here only this portion is selected right click go to format data point and in format data point go to filler line option and click on no fill similarly click here and from here i will select solid fill white color and transparency 30 percent follow similar step for others click here again click here now you can see here this portion is selected go to filler line option and select no fill click here now you can see here only this portion is selected i will select solid fill and 30 percent transparency with white color click here again click here go to filler line option select no fill then select this one and select solid fill with white color and transparency 30 percent now you can see here we have generated the circular chart now we will place the marks of 10 in centers and the subject the bottom of these graphs and to do to do this go to insert and here there is an option of text click text box place it here now from here select center put equal sign in formula bar and select marks press enter now select it again and from here i will select impact and 36 change this color according to your graph now go to format and shape outline i will select no outline now you can see here there is no outline copy this paste it here again paste it here now select this one and drag it into center of your graph Similarly, select this one and drag it into center of your graph. 
click this one and select other cell which is the history obtain marks press enter select this one and put equal sign and select physics sub obtain mark and press enter now select this one and double click on format vendor to copy this format and click here these will be automatically formatted like this one now deselect format painter select it again and change its color according to your graph this one is green and this one is red now again go to insert and here you will find the option of text text box I will place it here, center, put equal sign, and this is the math. Select this cell, press enter. Now again select this one and font size impact 36. and color blue go to format and from here i will select no shape outline now copy this one and place it here and again here Simply select this one and put equal sign in formula bar and select history, press enter. Now select this one, copy format and press here and change its color to green. Similarly select this one, put equal sign and select third subject which is physics press enter this copy this format place it here and change its color to green sorry red now if you want to copy the whole chart you will select this one hold down control key select this one and this one now place your cursor on this border right click and in group select group now you can see here the whole graph is grouped now if you place your cursor here copy it and you can paste it on any location that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye